to Kirsten. Kirsten drives handsomely back down the ground, four runs. Gary Kirsten on this occasion showing the value of having uh, a good follow through. You watch the blade of the bat, it goes right in the direction where Kirsten wants the ball to go. Wasn't, uh, in fact, it was far from a half volley, not an easy ball to drive, but because he kept uh, the bat following through where he wanted the ball to go, timed it beautifully. His first boundary, and here he, or well, they, will get a single. Fancy it might be a leg by. Uh, he's whipped that away, and the man at back of school, Leg McGrath, can't get there in time. So a lovely shot. The field's placed pretty well, but he can't stray on his leg stump, particularly when it's full. It's pitched outside leg stump as well. It's uh, it's almost come to daddy. He's a, he's a good, strong player, Gary Kirsten, in that area. He's become that, David. I know that you, you had a tremendous strength there as well but he's had to work at becoming a good onside player which normally comes quite naturally to left-handers like that a uh, lovely shot mid on is quite wide because you have mid on in the circle and uh, fine leg in the circle and that is all so he has to be very wide and Kirsten just whacked it Kirsten on strike law the bowler and he's hammered away for four runs. Backward is square. That was a bad ball. And uh, that is now his 50. No applause because uh, the crowd has already given him that. 50 from 74 balls with four boundaries. The mid-off might have got to it. This is over the top, though. And this will certainly be four runs. Over mid-on. Mark Taylor. Lovely free swing of the bat by Gary Kirsten. You'll see here just up and under the men inside the circle and uh, as long as he got plenty of bat on it and uh, followed through correctly, he took away a lot of the risk and in the end it was a very, very comfortable shot. There. Nice little nudge there by Gary Kirsten and this might have the beating of the fielder. It does. Very fast outfield and just runs away from him and into the boundary rope. Maybe it's because I was a bowler, but uh, that's a great shot. What a magnificent shot. Straight back past the bowler. Almost with disdain. You pitch it up, I'll hit you. 150 that brings up in the 30th over so exactly five and over South Africa score again 100 according to us and he still hasn't got it well, one thing I suppose that might be going through his mind even though he wants to get it according to everybody's statistics is that um, if the scorers remain adamant and they're quite entitled to do so then he will get his hundred he will be credited with his seventh hundred in one day international cricket. A nightmare for somebody who's got to do some editing on this match. There it is. Now it is complete in everybody's books and he acknowledges that he believes that's the real one and his teammates do as well. So Gary Kirsten goes to his seventh one day 100 for South Africa. 10.50s to go with it. That is a phenomenal record. It really is in only his 52nd innings. Is this the winning run? It is indeed swept down to fine leg by Gary Kirsten who remains unbeaten. And that should be it. The umpires are sort of looking at each other to say well, should we or shouldn't we there's been so much confusion about the score but uh, they get the nod that that is the end and so South Africa a very handsome victory by seven wickets over and after giving South Africa 74 to start with against India in Hyderabad 118 this time that's set the